Okay, <clears throat> so we got our PHP. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Let's go back over here. So we have uh, a category window over here, and you can put the designing code. That's cool. So our save button needs an event. So we're gonna right click, add event binding. We're gonna say click. Now this is the only button inside this view. So I'm gonna leave this generic on button click. The only thing I'm gonna do to it is I like my underscore click. Without a capital C. Just preference. Just try to stay consistent with whatever you use. Now before I put something on here, I, what I want to do is go to my form and make an easy way to find it. So I'm gonna use what's called a reference. And this is gonna be called uh, category form. Category form. And I'm just gonna copy that and go back to my button click. And I always like to start with var me equals this. If you don't know why, do some querying about JavaScript and this. Because it's really, really tricky and it's hard for a lot of people to grasp. But using this with asynchronous JavaScript will help me keep everything in scope and not have these weird wacky why can't I find this problem. So I'm gonna say var form. Now there's two ways we can do it. Let's do it this way first. Uh, I'm going to say, because I've got button, so I know where button is. So I'm going to say form equals button dot up window dot down form dot get form. So now I should have a reference to that form. So what we did is we took the location of the button, we said go up in the chain until you find a window. So that's going to be this guy. <clears throat> and then said go down until you find the first form. Well, that's this guy. And then the get form is going to help us encapsulate the functionality of that actual form. So I'm going to say form.submit. And I've got to give the form a method. Is it a post or is it a get? So we chose post in our PHP. And I've got to give it a URL. It's in single quote, so we're going to say data, category, create, category, dot PHP. And we're going to send it some parameters. So what is our description? Oh, it's not really exactly what I wanted to do, sorry. So our description needs to be a reference to this guy. So let's give him a reference. We're just going to call him DESC. Easy enough, right? Because he's only in this window. So if you could have a thousand DESCs and a thousand windows, and they will never, never conflict. It's a beautiful thing. So let's just go ahead and get a reference to him, just so we can debug it. Var DESC equals me. <clears throat> now look up reference. DESC dot value. So say look up reference on the view controller. So the view controller here, the view model, sorry, view model, has a reference to DESC. So it knows where DESC is. So on my button I can say, hey, look up reference to DESC. Give me its value. So in here I can say my PHP is looking for a description, right? A description. So I gotta name this description. Or it's not gonna find it. So description DESC. So now on my form, it's going to either have a success, and that's going to be a function, and it's going to have a form and an action. Or it's going to have a failure, and that's going to be a function, and it's going to be a form and action. Now basically, I'm going to process both these things the same way. The only exception is I need to know whether it's a success or a failure. So here's how I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to my controller. That's where all my code really is. And I'm going to search for a thing called a function. All right, function, there it is. So we're going to give it a name, process, form, hit enter, and here's what parameters it can take. So I'm going to say form, action, success, and window. So now what I can do, since I have this handy function down here, I can go back over here to my save button, and here, I can say me, dot process, form, form action 
true because that's a success and I can say button dot up window and then down here me dot process form form action false button dot up window cool let me save that let's go down here to our process form and we'll say if success is true we'll do one thing well if success is true let's just close the window See, the user's done they did with their job if it's false then we want to say console.log process failed and we want to say ext.message with capital M dot alert alert uh, your record could not be processed okay so let's stop it here at that then we'll come back and check it out and we'll go on we'll get make we'll, we'll make this message a little better and tell them why it didn't blow up because we know why <clears throat> and then we'll cover that in the next lesson